ladies and gentlemen, welcome to School Science. My name is Luke, and this is the Bradley Moore Project. Now, we've tried something a little bit different, not really just as a thing out of a whim, but more just out of necessity, just because everything at the moment sort of been going against the whole Bradley Moore Project as of recently, just with time frames as well as weather. Things have just not been playing into our hands as of lately, so unfortunately this one is going to be a night shot, so... I do apologize if some detail is lost in that regards, but looking over everything that I can see right now, I would say not and has been lost in that regards because everything just looks so crisp as anything. I mean, to tell you the truth, it's actually a little bit better than standard. Um, I do apologize in advance. My voice is very hoarse. I'm, <laughs> I've just gotten back from the football. My throat is absolutely killing me, and I am absolutely delighted with the results. Everton beating Arsenal 2-1. Should have been three, maybe even four one in all fairness, due to those recharging goals being brought offside by the most silly of things. I mean, one of them being a hand, the other one being the very tip plastic of his shoe, basically putting the offside. But I digress, we'll talk about that in a minute. If you look over the site right now, you can see there was a few little divot holes here and there. Those divot holes are, from what I've been told, agitators. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that one. But it seems to be the one that actually does make sense. So what that basically means is you have like a large, it's almost like a large shaft that gets put down into the ground and it vibrates at an extremely high rate. And what that does is it agitates the sand and it allows you to actually smooth it out a lot easier. Whether that's true, I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going off information that's been provided to me by certain sources, some of them working on site, some of them that are not. But everything over the site so far has been absolutely magnificent. I'm I'm really happy to see things develop in the way they are. And as you can see from the sand, things are pretty much done in terms of the infill. You can see that the pump is actually gone. You can see that the only water that's left now is just groundwater, which is going to get pushed out slowly. And there's going to be more sand that's going to get pumped in more freehandedly so they can actually smooth everything out and then they can start with stage two because right now we are in a technical sense in the interim point between stages one and two and it's it's going to be a very unclear point so when i actually come to making these like stage when i go from say stage 1.15 which i think this one is right now into stage 2.1 or stage two itself there's never going to be a clear line for me to actually go, right, stage one into stage two. I'm going to have to guess at when we're going to go straight into stage two. So if it does go, when you see this update and it goes into stage two, I might not be 100% accurate. And I do apologize when that day does come. But looking over the site right now, it does look like stage one is pretty much finished. But I am going to have to go back over and have a look at all the details for stage one, which is mainly just site preparation and just make sure that it is actually finished with stage one and we're slowly going into stage two. Now, what you're seeing me do is something I haven't really tried before, but I figured because of weather and everything else, I couldn't go far back as I could, where I normally start out in the very River Mersey. I couldn't really do that just because I didn't trust the weather to actually keep everything safe. But what I did decide to do was go closer into the city. So go towards the road and come back and we can look at the site from a different angle. But as you can tell, the amount of sand they put into that ground is absolutely astronomical. So it was half a million tons of sand that was pumped into this ground. And I think they've still got, they've probably still got about a good 10 to 15,000 tons still to go just to line up the top layer. So once that's in, everything is going to be smoothed out. And what we're going to see in stage two is a small roadway, which is going to start from the very front of the site where the main turrets are. And it's going to be a lifted, elevated road, bear in mind. It's going to be, I think it's about half a meter to a meter off the ground. And it's going to go around the site and in to where the dry, well, the now dry dock is. And from there, they're going to be able to use that in order to stop any damage occurring on the site. So I am extremely excited to see that happen. And as you can see right now, we are doing a nice little pan over the city. I will say, Liverpool of a night is always a beautiful thing to see. 
just going and seeing the city at this height, just panning around, seeing all the lights. It is absolutely breathtaking to see. I always love doing this. I've done this a handful of times with the drone. I've even done stuff like this around the lava buildings and everything, and I cannot ever get tired of it. But in any case, guys, that is it for me. I have done everything I can to try and talk about Bramley Moore as much as possible. In regards to Everton and Arsenal, that game was just something else. If you haven't seen it, get watching those highlights. It was something else. I am now going to finish here, and I'm going to take you to Live Luke, who is going to see you into the outro. So, take it away, Live Luke. Thank you very much. <coughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button down below. Just shows me that you like what you see and you want to see more of it. Also, if you want to suggest anything to the channel, whether it be carrying on doing stuff in the evening, because let's be honest, it looks great in the evening. I was worried about this footage not being as good as what we normally do, like around the middle of the day or early morning. But let's be honest, it looks great regardless. And to see the lights and everything and that little diffusion and you can see the dry dock as what it is and all that. It, it does look magnificent, let's be honest. If you want to suggest anything in along those lines, put them in the comment section below. I always love hearing from you guys. Even when it's just something as simple as just a general compliment like, dude, I like what you're doing, mate, keep it up. Seriously, it, it means the world to me. Also, if you're new to the channel, I promise you I don't normally sound this bad. Football does this to you. <laughs> but yeah, if you are new to the channel and you've liked the content that you've seen so far, why not hit that subscribe button? We are always doing new content, whether it be Blue Jibber Jabber stuff, whether it be Bramley Moore content, or anything that just gets thrown in between. Usually when we have something that happens, it does end up getting thrown in as a Blue Jibber Jabber. If I feel like the gap between there and the Bramley Moore project is too far, that is where it goes in. So get yourself on the channel, get yourself notified as well. Don't forget hitting that bell does help you tremendously because some of the stuff does come out, but it can get lost in the whole mixture of the YouTube algorithm and everything. So getting yourself hit with that bell, or hitting that bell, <laughs> it will give you notifications as to when any of these videos go live. Usually with the Brammy Moore project, it gets put live at 6 p.m. on a Wednesday, unless you're part of the Patreon, like CT Baz, Mal, Mark Bones, Martin Evans, or our newest one, Francis Hutton. If you like any of these guys down here, then you will be part of the early crew who get the stuff on 6 p.m. on a Tuesday. And their one is ad-free, just as a heads up. So if you want to be part of that crew, by all means, go to the Patreon, become part of the School of Science Superfan, or if you want, you can be part of the Cup of Coffee tier. Now, if you're part of the Cup of Coffee tier, I will say this very clearly, it, is, it doesn't have anything in terms of perks, but all you are essentially doing is giving me a pound and saying, look, what are you doing, mate? It's a pound on me. Get yourself a cup of coffee on me. It, that is essentially all that you're doing. You're basically donating to the channel in order to help it grow. And honestly, you've got my <laughs> you've got my eternal support on that one. I am always grateful for whatever comes into the channel, whether it be money, input, anything like that. I am forever grateful for it because you're helping us build the channel into something beautiful. So yeah, guys, I would like to thank you all very much for watching. I do apologise again for the hoarseness of my voice. This is what happens when Everton do well. I do get a little bit hoarse. But in any case, I'm going to see you all in the next video. Peace.